session on no half series this video is about the three different regions of operation of mass transistor wherein we are going to see the set of conditions in which the mass transistor is going to behave in cut off state linear and in saturation region earlier in the previous video we have seen about the different modes of operation of mass transistor with neat diagrams for accumulation depletion and inversion mode the video link for the mass transistor modes of operation is shared in the description box below please do watch that video on different modes of operation to have a better understanding on how this mass transistor is going to behave in cut off linear and saturation region this figure depicts the cross sectional view of n mass transistor wherein we have the source gate drain and body bulk or substrate terminals when i say n mass transistor it means that the source and drain are heavily doped with n type material and body or the bulk terminal is of p type material and then we have gate which is a polysilicon layer and beneath that we have the sio2 layer which is going to act as the complete dielectric material or the insulation layer now we will see the different set of voltage conditions in which this n mos transistor is going to fall under either cut off or in linear or in saturation region depending on the values of gate to source voltage and the drain to source voltage the mos transistor can operate in three different regions and the first set of region that we are going to concentrate is cut off region so for cut off region first let us start with applying gate to source voltage to be zero so which means it is less than the threshold voltage we have also defined what is threshold voltage in the previous video please do watch the video which is shared in the description box below to understand what is threshold voltage that is the minimum gate voltage that is required for the transistor to enter into on state here i have mentioned that the gate to source voltage is going to be less than the minimum voltage so which means i set at zero you can also assume to be zero or less than zero and let us now recall the modes of operation what kind of mode will occur when we have vgs to be less than zero or equal to zero so what happens when you assume that this to be a negative voltage because it is going to be less than zero and what happens when you apply a negative voltage at the gate terminal you experience an accumulation of positive charge carriers beneath the surface of the sio2 layer because the p type substrate completely has majority holes and those holes get attracted and accumulate beneath the surface of the sio2 layer because of the negative voltage that you apply at the gate terminal so now what happens when you start increasing from the negative voltage and set vgs to zero so when vgs is zero you observe that in the mass structure which means especially in an n mos transistor you can observe two pn junction one is between the source and the bulk and the other one is between the drain and the bulk so here when i apply vgs to zero and the source is also connected to ground the bulk is also connected to ground so which means the pn junctions between the source and bulk or between the drain and the bulk region are going to be completely zero biased so when it is zero biased the source and the drain are electrically insulated and this is because of the absence of a conducting channel between the source and drain you can observe here there is no formation of channel formation of channel will occur only when the transistor enters into an inversion mode here we have talked only about the accumulation mode which means the first mode of operation of mass transistor so since there is no formation of channel we can obviously see that there is no drain to source current also this particular region of operation is called as cut off region where we operate lesser than the threshold voltage it is also called as the sub threshold region because we apply the gate voltage lesser than the threshold voltage so it is also called as sub threshold region and if at all if we have any minimal leakage current because of a faulty transistor we have a sub threshold leakage current which is going to be again zero in this case now we will move on for the 
next region which is the linear region of operation of mass transistor now to start with the linear region again we have a set of conditions for gate to source voltage and drain to source voltage before moving for the linear region let us complete the observation of two different modes of operation of the mass transistor the left out modes are depletion mode and the inversion mode so for that initially in the cutoff mode or in the accumulation mode we have set vgs to be a negative voltage which means we had vgs less than 0 and we were talking about accumulation mode and now i slightly increase my gate to source voltage so it becomes greater than 0 but i retain it to be vgs less than my threshold voltage so now what happens you apply a small amount of positive voltage in the gate terminal positive voltage and here also you have majority charge carriers you experience a repulsive force and therefore you will have a depletion region so that mode you call it as a depletion mode so to have a detailed discussion on all these things please do watch the previous video and then what we do in the modes of operation we slightly increase the vgs value vgs will be greater than vt now what will happen when vgs is greater than vt which means i apply a greater amount of positive voltage when i apply more and more positive voltage what will happen more and more repulsion will be experienced by the majority charge carriers which means the holes but the minority charge carriers which are electrons they get attracted and they stay beneath the surface of the siwo2 layer and this region becomes the inversion layer and this mode we call it as inversion mode. so this is what we have seen in the previous video now i end up with the modes of operation discussion here and you can observe here at finally i have reached with vgs greater than vt condition so here also i start with vgs greater than vt condition and i slightly change my vds so to start with initially i set my vds equal to 0 So now what happens the same thing same discussion for the inversion mode so i apply a voltage which is greater than vt which means a high positive voltage is applied attraction of minority electrons from the substrate and therefore you call this as a inversion region and when vds is equal to 0 there is no issue as of now initially this is what happens and that there, there is a formation of channel now let us see what happens when we slightly increase this voltage of drain to source and still it does retain to be lesser than vgs minus vt now that with the vgs greater than vt condition we have observed accumulation of attracted electrons and the region under the gate changes from p type to n type because we have attraction of minority charge carriers here and it creates a conductive path between the source and drain and this is the inversion condition and the transistor is now in on state now when a small amount of positive voltage of vds is applied to the drain under this condition what happens is we know that the drain is of heavily doped n type and when we apply a positive voltage this is actually like a pn junction so for this n type material when i apply a positive voltage this pn junction starts to behave like a reverse biased diode so what happens in a reverse biased diode in reverse bias the depletion region at the drain end starts to widen when the depletion region surrounding the drain starts to widen the channel is trying to get tapered so it is not completely tapered the complete tapering will happen in the next region as of now since you have applied only a very small amount of positive drain to source voltage there is a slight increase in the width of the depletion region of drain side as there is a formation of conductive path between the source and drain the electrons 
present in the channel sweep towards the drain and since the current increases linearly with both the drain voltage and the gate voltage this region is called as linear region and i will tell you how this drain current is going to increase with increase in vds in a separate video and let us also analyze in deep about how this linear curve of drain current is achieved and why linear region is otherwise called as a resistive or ohmic or triode region so all those things we will see it in separate videos as of now you please note that when you have a small amount of vds the drain to source current is going to increase linearly as like the channel formation so here the channel formation is like this it is linear again so in the same manner your ids is also going to increase with increase in vds the detailed discussion will follow in the next set of videos now to begin with the discussion of saturation region we have already reached the point where vgs is greater than vt and now we start with the discussion of vds that in the linear region we have seen that this vds was a very small amount of positive voltage which is greater than zero but still it was less than vgs minus vt but now here we increase this vds to be greater than vgs minus vt so now what happens i apply more and more positive voltage so when you apply more and more positive voltage to the negative drain terminal here it is completely rich of electrons and you apply more and more amount of positive voltage again what happens is the depletion region around this drain site extends further towards the source so which means the pn junction at this point becomes reverse bias when it is reverse bias your depletion region will extend towards the source site so what happens here that there is no channel formation here your channel is completely pinched off in this state and here your ids which means your drain to source current will become independent of your vds which means whatever value you increase with this drain to source voltage your drain to source current is going to behave constantly okay so the depletion region has increased and channel thickness is reduced so therefore what happens is the concentration of electrons here decreases due to the pinched off channel or you call this as the channel is tapered at the drain end and no extra electrons can reach the drain end from the source side and hence your drain to source current remains to be a constant value so in this saturation region we say that your transistor behaves like a constant current source independent of the drain to source voltage so here comes the final summary of three different regions of operation of mas transistor here we have seen the cutoff region where the gate to source voltage is less than the threshold voltage and we have the transistor to be in off state and then comes the linear or resistive or ohmic or triode or non saturation region where your voltage conditions differ with vgs to be greater than vt and vds greater than 0 but still it is less than vgs minus vt and here the transistor is going to be in on state and your drain current increases with vds linearly and it is going to act as a variable voltage control resistor and finally we have arrived at the saturation region where the vgs is greater than vt but the applied drain to source voltage is much greater than the vgs minus vt and here the transistor is also in on state and your drain to source current becomes independent of vds and it behaves as a constant current source so finally you can see here certain points have highlighted in yellow color inside the tabulation why the linear region is also called as resistive or ohmic or triode region we should understand why it does and we should also understand how a fed transistor is going to act as a variable voltage controlled resistor in a linear region and how it is going to act as a constant current source in the saturation region and we will also discuss in this regard what is velocity saturation effect further we will also see the ideal iv characteristics of mas transistor to understand 
how id current is going to vary linearly in a linear region and how it becomes a constant in saturation region and with that we will also see the other highlighted points in this video let us see all of them in a separate video to have a better understanding of all these concepts until then stay tuned thank you all for watching this video through electronics insight channel